Hey guys, welcome to day, uh, I think it's six of the 12 days of Christmas ornaments with Mama Ames. I do apologize. I am so not on top of my game, but hey, I'm real. This is what y'all get. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into today's ornament DIY. Today, we are going to make, let me show you this gorgeous sea glass ornament. Isn't that beautiful? I think so. Okay, so for this project, what you are going to need a glass ball ornament such as that. Glass, not plastic. So sorry, this is not a Dollar Tree DIY. They sell plastic and not glass. And to have this paint stick, you do need glass. I picked these up at Michael's. They were 50% off when I bought them. So I paid $3.50 for four because I wanted the larger balls. You could have, or I could have gotten, I think it was a pack of six for about the same amount of money. But I chose to get the larger balls. All right, let's talk about paint, guys. Martha Stewart makes a line of paints, or made, I haven't decided if she still makes it or not. Um, it's a sea glass, glass paint, and it is translucent, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I found these at Michael's, and they were on clearance, so I'm not exactly sure if she still makes them anymore. And like I said, they are in different colors. This one is beach glass. The blue ornament I just showed you, I did this one in, that one in blue calico. Uh, I also grabbed a bottle in the Scottish Highlands, which is a deeper green. And then this one is called lavender. And I haven't painted anything with that one, but it, you know, it's sea glass, so I had to grab it. So as an alternative to the Martha Stewart brush on paint, Krylon makes a spray paint that come in a variety of colors of sea glass stains. It is an aerosol paint, but it is a great alternative for you if you don't want to take the time to hand paint it, or if you can't find the Martha Stewart brand of sea glass paints. It's a great alternative. All right. So to make the actual ball, that's really all you'll need is you're going to need a paintbrush if you choose to use Martha Stewart's paints. You will need something to put your paint into. These you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. I think there are six in a pack for a dollar. And for these ornaments, I did use a foam brush. I kind of felt like that was the way to go. And you're gonna need a glue gun. For your embellishments on this, I did use some of that nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I used some jute twine. I also used a piece of their sea glass from the Dollar Tree. I also dabble in a little bit of jewelry making, so I had a lot of this wire on hand. And after I picked out which piece of sea glass I wanted to use, I ended up using this 24 gauge wire to wire wrap it. So if you decide to do something like this as an embellishment, you'll need something to wire wrap it. And then these are the tools that I used to wrap the wire. Uh, but also, you could use these mini glass containers, but we're going to get to that in just a few minutes. The first thing that I did was pop the top off of your glass ornament. The second thing I did was I found a wooden dowel, and I don't have one on hand with me, but I do have a pencil. <laughs> and all I did was take the wooden dowel, and that is what I used to hold. The, the glass ball and then I used the paint and the paintbrush and I painted it um, and then I let it dry 
and then I just kind of judged it as to whether it needed a second coat and in my opinion it needed a second coat so I did go ahead and put a second coat on it all right and I let that dry and then I put the, the topper back on and then I embellished it and that is really all guys now if you want to if you if you want to wire wrap your sea glass you can if you really if you just want to tie on a piece using your jute twine you can do that just wrap a little bit around a piece of sea glass and tie it on you can use your hot glue gun and just hot glue a bunch of different pieces and I do apologize I don't have my phone up on my stand but you can hot glue a bunch of different pieces around the actual ball if you'd like that would actually be really pretty I might do one of mine I have two extra, I have two balls left that I haven't done anything with you could do that um, you Ooh, you could take the, the jute twine and just wrap it in one of my earlier ornaments I just happen to have sitting here and I haven't painted it with Mod, Pod, Mod Podge yet you could take your jute twine and just kind of wrap it in a pattern around it and just leave it really if you wanted a, a really cool nautical feel to it let's see what oh these um, the mini glass containers that you get from the Dollar Tree. This would be really cute. Just take a little piece of paper, cut it to the size, the width of the height of this little glass container and roll it up like it's an actual message in a bottle and stick it down in there with the cork on top. And then you could use a piece of jute twine and tie it to the top of the, of the ornament. That would be really, really cute. There are so many possibilities for these ornaments, guys. If you have a nautical theme, or if you want a nautical theme to your Christmas decorations, you could find seashells and tie those on as embellishments. You could find, uh, oh goodness, charms of mermaids, or sand dollars, or starfish and glue them on with your hot glue gun or tie them on like I did with the sea glass and embellish them that way. There are lots of possibilities with this ornament. I just think it's gorgeous. Let your creativity flourish guys. But yes, that is today's ornament. I am leaving it open to your interpretation. I got you started. You finish it. I want to know your ideas down in those comments. So leave me in the comments. Let me know what you're working on, guys. Keep being kind to each other because in the words of Ethan, why wouldn't you be kind? Bye. See you next time, guys. Good night.